Donald Trump is a man who courts controversy to great effect. We have a silent majority that's no longer so silent. It's now the loud, noisy majority. And we're going to be heard. We're going to be heard. He is now odds-on favorite to become the Republican nominee for this year's presidential election. But there is one topic on which he and I fiercely disagree. Every year in America, 100,000 people are hit by gunfire, of whom 32,000 die. That's 85 deaths from guns every single day in this country. It's an issue I feel very strongly about, but Donald Trump couldn't disagree with me more. He believes, like many Americans, in his right to bear arms under the Second Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. It's an argument we've had many times, and we had it again. You and I have locked horns about this issue many times. You're firmly in favor of Second Amendment rights, the right to bear arms. I obviously have had a position against that, but I'm not an American citizen. If you were President of the United States, what would you do, notwithstanding your support for the Second Amendment, to try and reduce the level of gun violence in America, which we both, I'm sure, would admit is completely unacceptable. And it's really one of the few things that we disagree. We're very much on opposite sides. And I've always said, and you did very well, your show was fantastic. But I would also say this, had you not taken that view, uh, and maybe you want to be exactly where you are right now, because from what I hear, you're doing phenomenally, but you would, have, you would still be doing your show on CNN if you wanted to do it. And I think it was your choice maybe not to do it. But you, you were met with tremendous, I remember people didn't like you over that one issue. And you know that better than I do. I, I think it was really, I think it was in a way very brave of you because I know it was very negative for what you did. Very, very negative for you. I will say this. If you take Paris and if there were a few guns on the other side of that room, there were no guns. You know, Paris has among the strictest gun laws in the world, as you know, and so does France. If you had Paris where you had these thugs going in there and shooting people and they just go, boom, boom, you get over here, boom. They just killed 130 people. There wasn't another gun in the room. They had all the guns, right? If you had a few people standing on the other side of the room that had guns to their waist or guns wrapped around their ankle, it wouldn't have been the same thing, Piers. Number one, it might not have happened at all because people would have said, oh, there are guns in there. I'm not going to go there. Uh, and number two, if it did happen, at least you'd have bullets going the opposite direction. And I, that's a hard one for you to debate. And I don't want to debate it with you because I think it's unfair. Well, the only, but the that's only really point a hard I've, one for you to debate. The only point I've made, the only point I've made back at you, because I, I know where you stand on this, and I've heard you say that about Paris before. I guess the point I make is that America has more guns than any country on the planet, but it also has more gun violence. So there appears to be a correlation between volume of guns in a society and the amount of gun violence. We in Britain, for example, last year had about 35 gun deaths. America will have 85 today and tomorrow and the next day. And so I guess I come yeah. back to my question really is simply, if you were president, what would you try and do to reduce the level of gun violence in America. Okay. Well, if you've watched, and I know you believe in this also, and it's uh, not going to ever fully answer your question because I understand where you're coming from, but there is a tremendous mental health problem in the United States because remember, it's a person that pulls the trigger. It's not the trigger that pulls itself. And there's a tremendous mental health problem in the United States. And